Almighty God, I know be the name. Is no by power, by my spirit, said this mortal is very more in Jesus' name. Is be in Jesus name. Is be removed. Spirit Let's open our mouth. Let's praise the name of the Lord. Let's thank him because of his mercy upon us, upon every one of us. Let's thank him because he has never left us alone. You know? Let's thank him because of his grace. Let's thank him because it's a abundant blessing. Let's thank him because of his glory. Let's worship him. Then glorify him, the Lord of Lords, the mighty one. You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never see your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. 
You are the Lord that is your You will never share glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your I just come to sing. Baba, I just come to say, Baba, oh, I just come to say, Baba, oh, I say, I just come to say, Baba, oh, eh. open your mouth, praise the name of the Lord, thank him because of your family, thank him because of yourself, thank you because of your children. Thank him because of your wife. Thank him because of your husband. Thank him because of his glory has continued to be upon you. Glorify him. Let's praise his name. Let's praise his name because many are funny. The grace of the Lord has continued to uphold you. The mercy of the Lord has continued to uphold you. Let's, pre let's praise him, the Lord of Lord, the King of King. Let's worship him. Let's worship him. Let's praise him. Adore him. Glorify his name. He has never changed. Praise his name because of where he has started in our life. Let's thank him because of where we are. Let's thank him. If we say we are going to look at it, the devil will have won the battle. But as we hear this evening, because of his grace upon us, because of his mighty hand, Upon us, we are here. We are here today. Praise His name. Glorify His name. The one that has brought us so far, spiritually, physically. Let's glorify Him. Let's glorify Him. Let's thank Him because of what He has been doing. Let's thank him because of what he will still continue to do. Let's praise him. Let's praise him. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ we will grow spiritually. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father help me in my life so that I can grow spiritually. There's no benefit in a woman being if you go physic physically, if you go materially, if you go in all areas of, of life. But spirit spiritually, he or she is in lack. Let's call upon him. Let's call upon him. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father help me, O oh Lord. Let's call upon him that in all areas of my life, 
in all aspects of my life, in whatever I will be doing, in whatever I'm doing, in whatever I even done, Lord, let's let me see spiritual manifestation. Let's call upon you. Let's call upon you. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We call upon the name of the Lord, that Almighty Father. In all areas of my life, I want you to go with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, eternal Wherever I be, wherever I present, before my family, before friends, before anybody of my life, let's call upon the name of the Lord, Almighty oh, Father. Go with me, O oh Lord. Go with me, O oh Lord. King of kings, go with me, O oh Lord. Almighty oh, Father, go with me, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Call, call upon your. You know, when we went yesterday, it was very unfortunately. Uh, I want to say it's very funny for me to see my group coordinator. And then when I saw him, I was sober. I look at everything about him. I look at the way he addressed me. And then, until I said, you can sit down, sir. He did not sit down. When he was speaking to me, I look at where we were, those people that came to look for him, I look at the way he addressed them. And then I look at, I have to see me to see him off to the car. And I saw the way he addressed everybody that was around that place. Especially when she was calling a woman. And I took all this humility. From that particular time to this morning, I was even thinking about it. That God, how can a woman be humble like this? I know him. I know who he is. I know where he's coming from. And I remind him that pastor, do not be surprised to see, oh, you are one of our guardians that we are seeing in the spirit. Because when he left his job, very lucrative job, to follow the ministry, G.S. asked him, which one do you want? He was promoted. He need to leave where he's working to another state. And that one will let him leave the, the work of the Lord. And then that time, particular time, he, has be, he, he was just promoted to be a group coordinator. And then G.S. asked him, which one do you want? He said, I will serve God. And G.S. told him, you have decided. You have, you have taken your decision. That's me. You need to leave that job. This is all complaint every one of us we are running after. This way, he was a manager. He left the job and followed Jesus Christ. And I saw him yesterday. I saw all those immunity in him. I was perplexed. I was baffled. We will call upon the name of the Lord, the Almighty Father. Whatever we take the work of the Lord out of me, whatever that we take the grace of the Lord out of my arm, Lord, at this particular present time, take them out of my own heart in Jesus' name. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's talk upon the God. I've tested you. I know whom you are. I know you are God of provision. I know the one you are the one that can pay back. I know you are the one that can reward. Let's go to the throne of to the throne. Let's go into the throne of mercy and tell God that whatsoever, in any time so ever, in any direction so ever, that anything that we take the, the work of the Lord, that we take love of the Lord out of my life, 
Father, take it out of my life, O oh Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Everything, other thing shall perish. The only thing that will not perish is the mighty hand of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. O oh, mighty Father, take it out of me, O oh Lord. Let's call upon him. Let's call upon him. Let's call upon him. Let's call upon him. That by the power and the blood of Jesus, whatever that we take the word that, that we take the word of the Lord, that we take the, the my service, that we take my commitment, that we take it out of the Lord. Father, take it out of my life in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I look at the man, some of us that we are very used to the Facebook. You must have seen what I wrote about him because I was so confused yesterday. Is, there, is, this, is this not my group coordinator? And I, I wrote it there that it's like the more God is promoting him, the more he's becoming humble. The more God is establishing him, the more he's becoming humble. We will call upon the name of the Lord. Father, in my humility, promote me, O oh God. Call upon the name of the Lord. Open your mouth. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the more in my humility, the more I'm submitting to you. Lord, raise my head up. Pray or call upon the name of the Lord. Ability to surrender all to the will of the Lord. Ability to surrender all to the hand of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Father, help me, O Lord. Help me, O Lord. Let your name be glorified. Let your mighty hand help me, O Lord. Call upon him. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's, put, let's open our book to the book of Galatians. The book of Galatians chapter 4. Galatians chapter 4. Galatians chapter 4. We shall read from the first 8 to 20. And then we will use it to pray. Galatians chapter 4. First 8, 20. And then we will use it to pray. I'll be there when you know not God. You did service unto them, which by name are no God. But now, after that, you have known God. Or rather, a knowing of God, I'll turn you again to the weak and beggarly element. We are unto you, you desire again to be in bondage. You observe days and months and times and years. I am afraid of you, lest I have bestowed upon you labor in vain. Brethren, I beseech you, be as I am, I am as you, uh, you, uh, you are. You have not injured me at all. You know how through inf infirmity of the flesh I pray the gospel unto you at the first. And my temptation, which was in my flesh, you despised not, nor rejected, but received me as an, an angel of God. The phone as Christ Jesus. Why is then the blessedness of the blessedness you spoke? For I bear record, I bear you record that if it had been possible, you have plucked out your own eyes and give and have given them to me. Am I therefore becoming your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. The zealously affect you, but not well. Yes, 
they will exclude you, that you might affect them. But it is good to be zealous, affected always in a good thing, and not only when I am present with you. My little children, of whom I travel in bed, until Christ be formed in you, I desire to be present with you now, and to change, to change my force, for I stand in doubts of you. We call upon the name of the Lord. That this night, this particular night, all the pending promises in my life, in your life, that will help me to achieve my destiny, that will help me to get to my destination. Let them come upon me this evening and the abundance goodness of the Lord will come upon my life in Jesus' name. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. All depending promises upon my life that is defined from above that has no attachment that has no any limitation let's call upon the name of the lord almighty father let them come upon me in jesus name let's open our mouth let's open our mouth all the pending promises that I shall achieve, I shall be the head and not the tail, that I shall get to the destination of the will of God in my life, that I shall be a block, that I shall be a pillar. Let's call upon the name of the Lord, Almighty Father, all depending premise, promises upon my life, on the life of my children, on the life of my wife, on the life of my husband. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. For that the time has come. Turn things over. Turn things over for me, O Lord. Turn things over for me, O Lord. And let your name be glorified. Call upon him. Command the blessings of the Lord to come upon you. The blessing that surprise everyone. The blessing that surprised the woman being, the devil that surprised, that even surprised angel in kingdom of God. Because we are here this evening, that we are going even to Jordan. Call upon the name of the Lord, that your position, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, in Christ, we continue to move forward. That by the power and the blood of Jesus, God will not use any, any stone instead of you in Jesus' name. Call upon him. Call upon him. What is that? Those pending promises. The will of Paul is that he has sacrificed the Lord and he was expecting spiritual, spiritual profit from them. But see, when whenever he's not there, they forget the word of the Lord, they forget the commandment of the Lord. But call upon the name of the Lord, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will assist. Spiritually, you will assist. Materially, you will assist. Anybody, the glory of the Lord on you in my life will not become fade. But we will continue to arise and shine for the glory of the Lord in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. It's very, very difficult sometimes to pass through, to get to the destination. And many of us we know. And then what does Jesus Christ do? He selected just a few of them. John, 
the beloved Peter Who can tell me the third person? And James. He loved them so much. To the book, to the extent that in the book of John, all we always say the John, the beloved. And what anything want to happen on being physical to acknowledge the presence of the Lord. You see Peter there. Why? Jesus loved them so much. The same way Jesus has loved us so much. Especially these three of us that stand before him today. What do that do? We cannot do. What other engage? We cannot engage. That is, that it is not evil kill. That we cannot say it is a sin. But because of our commitment, God has been so wonderful on us. On accountability of our hour. We call upon the name of the Lord. People will not believe until they see sign. But this is sign of my child. This is sign of my daughter. This is sign of my son. From this moment, from this particular hour, Father, I look unto you. Let your sign follow me in Jesus' name. Call upon him. Call upon him. Call upon him. Power that beyond human understanding. Power that beyond human understanding. That people will see this is the hand of the Lord. And they won't even able to look at your eyes. They won't able to shift up their eyes to look unto you. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, help me, O Lord. Help me, O Lord. Let your grace be upon me. Let your mighty hand be upon me. Help me in the journey, O Lord. Do not let me fall. I shall not witness it back, but I will witness the glory of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. I will soon live by the grace of the Lord so that we, we finish very early as possible. But before I leave, I want us to read from the book of Jeremiah. The book of Jeremiah. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 28. Jeremiah. 28. Shall we read for us from 1 to 9? And it came to pass the same year, in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the fourth year and the fifth month, that Ananiah the son of Azor, the prophet, which was of Gibeon, spoke unto me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priest. And of all the people, saying, Thus speak the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, I have broken the yoke of the king of Babylon. All the yoke in my life, in your life today, is being broken in Jesus' name. You want to ask me how I know I'm a living example? Within two full years, we are bring again into the place all the vessels of the Lord house that Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon took away from this place and carried them to Babylon. All what the devil has taken from you has taken from me by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Just because we present this night, God will return them in Jesus' name. There will be a turning point from our life, from a life, as we are moving forward this night in Jesus' name. Amen. And I will bring again to this place Jeconiah, the son of Jehoiakim, Je king of Judah, with all the captives of Judah who went unto Babylon, said the Lord, for I will break the yoke 
of the Babylon. All your captive captivities. All my captivities. People are wondering. They are surprising. And I told them they have seen nothing except I'm not worshipping this God of Israel. I'm worshipping human being. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, all depth in our life, God is changing to I don't know what I can use for the opposite of depth. But by the by the power and the blood of Jesus. Instead of being depth of, you are going to be creditor in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to be lender in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power in the blood of Jesus, all things that have been shaking our mind, and we are thinking, how, how will I go? How will I do it? By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, a new thing is being happening in our life today in Jesus' name. The Bible says, arise and shine. The way he will do it, we don't know. His way is not the way of human being. Neither the way of any prophet, any pastor, any whoever you want to call him or her. But by the time he start doing it, people will see the glory of the Lord in your life, in my life, in Jesus' name. And that glory is going to be exposed to the extent that nobody can cover it in Jesus' name. Then the Bible, the Bible says, Then the prophet Jeremiah said unto the prophet Analiah, In the presence of the priests, and in the presence of all people who stood in the house of the Lord, verse 6, Even the prophet, the prophet Jeremiah said, Amen. It is done. It is done in your life. It is done in my life today in Jesus' name. The Lord do so. The Lord perform your war which you have prophesied. To bring again the vessel of the Lord's house and all that is carried away captive from Babylon onto the onto this place by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, every one of us we are receiving our captivity back today in Jesus' name. Write it down, no more sorrow. To be from progress to progress in Jesus' name. They be from promotion to promotion in the name of Jesus Christ. From the north, from the east, they will come back and bow down for you in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, all your vision, all my vision, as they are glorifying the name of the Lord, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to stamp them with the blood of Jesus Christ this evening in Jesus' name. Wherever we enter, they will not see our wisdom, they will not see our knowledge. They will not see our understanding. But they will see the blood of Jesus Christ in our life in Jesus' name. Amen. And as a result of this, above, above, said above, above, we shall continue to be in Jesus' name. Amen. The glory of the Lord will be upon every one of us. Amen. The mighty hand of the Lord will be upon every one of us. And the Bible says, nevertheless, hear you now this word that I speak in your ears and the ear of all the people. The prophets who have been before and before you of old prophets sized both against many countries and against great kingdom of war and of, and of evil and of pestilence. The prophet which prophesies of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord has truly sent him. Without no wonder, Without anything, every one of us, for three of us that present here, we know God has truly sent us. But people have not seen. We will achieve. We we'll get to our destination. All the stumbling block, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to remove in Jesus' name. All sorrow, all darkness of mind. All what the people of the world call cloud, God is going to remove our loud in Jesus' name. Our star, our star will shine. 
our song will shine. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the promise of the Lord, that we shall be the head and not tail. From this evening, God is materializing it in our life in Jesus' name. We shall be lender. We shall not be borrowed. Every soul that is throwing spiritual stone of trouble into my life, into your life, will not live Praise the Lord. It will not cause them. But they will see the glory of the Lord. But we call upon the name of the Lord. Every soul that is throwing spiritual stone of trouble into my life, I come against them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, fight for me. And let them be disgraced in Jesus' name. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Whomsoever, whatsoever, in any direction, in what, in whatsoever, from above, from the water, from the sea, that is throwing the stone of, the stone of trouble, that do not let me know my direction, that do not let me know where to go, that do not let me know where to be, that do not let the, my life be glorified in the name of the Lord, that is shedding my life from testimony. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Father, disgrace them. In this particular evening, Lord, disgrace them. Call upon the name of the Lord. Every evil forces, every, 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 every woman being, every, every woman being that is thrown in stone of trouble, that is thrown in stone of misunderstanding, that is thrown in stone of mis, 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 lack of knowledge, that is thrown in stone of lack of understanding into my life. Let's call upon the name of the Lord, Almighty Father. Disgrace them in my life in their name. From this evening, from this particular hour, from this particular hour, let's call upon the name of the Lord. Every stone, every, every soul that is thrown, that is, that is thrown in stone, of misunderstanding, of, of, of comfortability, of, of not going forward, of, 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 of not achieving, that is thrown against my life, into my life. Father, I come against them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We shall pray this prayer before I leave the pulpit. Whoever that is using contrary covenant against me, against the will of God uh, upon my life, against the will of uh, against the will of Jesus Christ upon my life, Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ from this particular evening. From this particular second, for this particular hour, let them be disgraced in let them be disgraced in Jesus' name. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Every soul that is using one thing or the other, contradictory to the will of God in your life, contradictory to the will of God in my life. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Father, let them be disgraced. King of kings, let them be disgraced. Lord of lords, let them be disgraced. Almighty Father, let them be disgraced. 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 Almighty Father, let them be disgraced. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty Father, we glorify your name because of this session. We thank you, Lord, because you have a plan for us. And we pray by the power and the blood, Lord Jesus Christ, your grace will continue to be upon us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord and answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as we worship you this moment, that they have your way in the name of Jesus, right? They take control, oh God. Cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, pray. We are gathering together unto, unto the Lord. We are gathering together unto, unto the Lord.
to the Lord shall be guarding of his people. We are guarding together unto the Lord. We are guarding to the unto unto the Lord. We are guarding together unto unto the Lord unto the Lord. Shall be getting of his people. We are God together unto thee. Build an altar for the Lord, my God. Build an altar for the Lord, my God. When you build an altar for the Lord, my God. My Savior understand. He shall be, he shall be well. Move on, move. My Savior understand. He shall be, he shall be well. Move on, move. Be tired. My Savior understand. He shall be. He shall be well Move on My Savior You are the mighty God The great I am Hallelujah Hallelujah You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the King of Kings, the Lord of Love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, 
the great I am. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are the beginning at the end, the first at the last. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, King of kings. You are Lord of lords. You are worthy, Lord. How many potent you are. Science, you are ancient of this. You I am that I am. Emmanuel, you are what you love. You are angels who are singing. You are what you They are singing. I put my hands in your hands, oh Lord. I put my hands in your hands, oh Lord. I put my hands in your hands, oh Lord. For Jesus never fails. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus. You are the peace that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Thank you, Jesus. Father, hold us firm in your hands, O God. That we will not fall, O oh God. That we will not faint, O oh God. That we will not run out of your presence, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, right? Things of this world, O oh God. The affairs of this world, O oh God. What we want to become in life, O oh God. We not depraved, O oh God, our depravity in entering your kingdom, Lord. In the name of Jesus, right? Nothing will hinder us, O God. Because your coming is at hand, O God. Help us to be ever ready. Help us to always be at our last, O God. Help us to be more vigilant, O God. Help us to be more prayerful, O God. Help us to be more faithful, O God. In the work we have commissioned in our hands. So that we will not be, O God, like that third servant who had one gift. 
who had one talent and hide it. And later said to his master, you know you reap where you didn't sow. My Lord and my Savior, the master said you should have used, give one of those servants the, the usury you have so that they can make increase. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that whatsoever gifts you have deposited in our hands, in our lives, O oh God, that we will not see it as our own, O oh God, but we will see it, O oh God, as the work we have commissioned in our hands, to work with it, to be productive with it, in the name of Jesus Christ. That God to be fruitful with it, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. To make, O oh God, multiple increase, O oh God, with it. To invest in the life of people, in the name of Jesus Christ. To invest our times, O oh God, our money, O oh God, whatsoever you are giving to us in the life of others, in the name of Jesus Christ. Without using any words that would discourage them. Just like Jesus have preached, O oh God, that God, everyone is important in your household, both those who are cooking, both those who are cleaning the church, both the preachers and the members. But God, I pray, oh God, you will help us, oh God, to cherish one another's gifts, to appreciate one another's gifts in the name of Jesus, Christ, so that we not use our own, oh God, to be a destroyer of others, oh God, but to be a good builder of others in the name of Jesus, Christ, to encourage one another in love, oh God, in your unity in the name of Jesus, Christ. Daddy will worship your holy name. Any power, who oh God, that want to be pulling down whatsoever you have deposited in our life. We destroy such powers in the name of Jesus Christ. And God, what we want to become in life, oh God, will not deprive us, oh God, even of, 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 our, of, of, of our inheritance in your kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because you are the living God. Daddy, as we proceed, you will continue with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray. I will say the prayer request, then you just pick it up and pray with it. I'm going to pray every spirit of limitation against my breakthrough. Die in Jesus' name. Open your mind and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Will every spirit of limitation against you, God, our breakthrough. Every spirit of limitation, O God, forget our advancement. Lord, we command them to be broken in the name of Jesus. And let them be taken away off our pathway. Father, limitation cannot determine the level of our achievement. The enemies cannot determine the level of our attainment and achievement. Therefore, O oh Lord, every evil landmark of limitation that is not drawn by you, Father, with the blood of Jesus, will wipe them off in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Gonna pray every power of the motion target against my destiny. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power of the motion target against your destiny. Let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we come and get every spirit of demotion. Targeted, O oh God, against our life. Targeted, O oh God, against our family, against the church. We command them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Every family left over evil is not my portion in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray. Every family left over evil is not your portion in the name of Jesus. It is not our portion in the name of Jesus. It is not our children's portion. It is not the portion of our members. It is not the portion of our loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not be a partaker of evil. No cause is broken off our life in the name of Jesus Christ. No evil load in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Arise and let every Pharaoh pursuing me perish in the Red Sea. But arise, look at every Pharaoh, O Lord, pursuing me. Every power Pharaoh, O God, pursuing me, Father, let them perish in the Red Sea. In the name of Jesus Christ. From the right, from the left, from the center, wherever, O Lord, Father. You are the God of yesterday, today, and forever. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. The every rag of poverty catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every rag of poverty command you right now and catch the fire of the Holy Ghost. Get out of our lives. Get out of the church. Get out, oh God, of our family in the name of Jesus Christ. We should prosper and live in good health. Prosper financially, materially, academically, spiritually, in the name of Jesus. All we around, oh God, will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The, oh Lord my God, in the presence of those who think I am nobody, make me somebody. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, Father. Father, in the presence of those, oh God, who think I am nobody, Father, make us somebody. Lord, crown us, oh God, with knowledge and wisdom and understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you are the one, O oh God, who make something out of nothing. Father, you are the one who honorates, and no one can dishonor. Father, you are the one who enthroned, and nobody can dethrone. Father, when you say we're blessed, nobody can say we're cursed. When you say, Lord, we are somebody, nobody can say we are nobody. Lord, you said, oh God, in your word, oh God, we are royal priests, oh choosing generation. Father, I am what you say I am in the name of Jesus Christ. I am what the Lord says I am. I am a winner. I am somebody in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. We're going to speak. We quickly read Second Samuel chapter fifteen, verse thirty-one. Second Samuel fifteen, verse thirty-one. I read. And one told David, saying, Ahithophel is among the conspirator with Absalom. Absalom, the enemy of David. Ahithophel, the one who was with David but now a conspirator with his enemies. Well, we're gonna pray. 
and say, Lord, every evil conspiracy against my life, let the conspirators be put to shame. In the name, by the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, every evil conspiracy against our life, against our family, Father, let every evil conspirator to God. Father, let them be disgraced and be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Lord, they will never succeed in Jesus' name. And in the B part of that same verse, and David said, O oh Lord, I pray thee, turn the counsel of Ahithophel into foolishness. Gonna you know, pray every wisdom of your conspirators, every Aitofer conspiring against your life, conspiring against your family. Let their wisdom be turned into foolishness. They will not be able to perform their enterprise against your life. Every evil enterprise is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Lord, lay the wisdom of every of I to fell in our life, oh God, conspiring against us, conspiring against our family, conspiring against our ministry. Lord, let them let that wisdom be turned into foolishness, oh God, that your name alone be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Psalm 40 verse 14 says, Let them be ashamed and confounded together that seek after my soul to destroy it. Let them be driven backward and put to shame that wish me evil. I pray that they will be put to shame. And the reproach that the enemies want to put on you it will backfire them. They will put it on themselves and not you. Begin to pray. Let them be desolate for a reward of their shame. That say unto me, ha, ha, ha. Gonna pray and say, Lord, crown me with your glory. That anywhere I go, the glory of the Lord will radiate. That anywhere I go, the glory of God will speak. And every impossibility will be made possible. God has qualified you for greatness for another level. That when you knock at the door of success, it will be open unto you. No gaze can stand against you. No power can shut the door of greatness, of success against you. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. For the King of glory shall come in. You carried Christ in you. The Lord. As I step into the business world, as I move into the activities, as I go into that transaction, favor, 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 favor. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for answering our prayers. 
be the magnifier. Father, testimony will never cease. Father, when they think we are down, before they know, they will see us far above. Because you've lifted us, O oh God, above principalities and powers. When you rose, O oh God, we rose with you. Thank you, Father, for taking us out of the merry clay and set our feet on high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.